Okay, good morning. We've got our uh, lower cabinet doors ready to be hung. And I'm gonna put the hinges back on my cabinets and uh, get them hung up. All right, good morning. Getting ready to uh, sand some cabinets and shellac them. These ones don't get stained. These ones we're gonna leave natural. And that's for our cat tower right there. This side and that side. Um, haven't done a video in a few days just because it's the same old, same old as cabinet doors. But these are a little different in the sense that they're larger doors and uh, get these sanded and shellacked and we'll be back. All right, good morning. Back at it again today. I've got uh, three doors there that need to be sanded and stained. And I've got four doors here that just need to be sanded and uh, polyurethane. And these are the doors for above the bed cabinets, which are back there. Okay. It's for, <clears throat> for that one, that one, that one, and that one. Um, so what I'll do is I'll sand, <coughs> I'll sand those. Good morning, buddy. And I'll shellac them. And then while they're drying, I'll come in and I'll finish sand where the doors go. Well, basically the whole thing. I'll go ahead and shellac that, let that dry. While those are drying and that's drying, and then this afternoon, I'll go ahead and hang them. Uh, here's what I got done yesterday, here and there. Uh, there is no door at the bottom. That's where the, uh, the cat box goes. But, uh, so here's... All the doors for that. Okay. I still got to put the uh, still got to put the cabinet stays. I did put one here. See, here and here. But these are all polyurethane sanded steel wool they're nice and smooth they look good the cabinet the cabinet's all done i just got shit laying in there but and mama didn't want any shells inside there she might change her mind and i may have some scraps that i may just make some shells that can be put in taken out i don't know but that's one of my little projects at the end but we got plenty of storage. Um, I've still got to make those doors when I get the stain out for that and those doors. I'll go ahead and stain that and get that ready for the doors. Um, I've still got to make those doors. So those four doors, <clears throat> the vanity uh, cabinet doors, and I haven't decided if I'm going to put uh, a cabinet down there or drawers. I may just put drawers over there on both sides because it'd be kind of hard to get down in there and open the cabinet and be easier to do a drawer. So I've just got to figure out how to make drawers. I don't know how, but I mean, I know how to make a box, but the slides and everything, I got to, I got to research that. All right. So let me get busy. Uh, busy sanding those four doors i'm going to do those first shellac them so they can be drying come in here and sand and shellac the bedroom cabinets and then i'll work on sanding those three doors and those three doors 
are those three openings right up there. But I have to stain, I'm gonna stain that up there first. That wall does not get stained, but this wall does, but the face of this is gonna get stained in that cabinet. I think that'll look good. And uh, all right, we'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> got my uh, my doors stained. These doors are ready to be hung here. I've got those four, and those go back there. I've got a sand and shellac that, and I've got that stained. I've got this wall finished. That wall stays that color. And they, the rest of it stays natural. Okie dokie, a very exciting day. <laughs> I got all my uh, above the bed cabinets, doors. Yes, indeed. to do is those two behind the bed uh, and I decided I'm gonna go ahead and make drawers for all of those um, and drawers for there as well just be easier to get in and out of and then I have that I guess the kitchen cabinet uh, to get done and the vanity <clears throat> And like I said, there's no door goes down there because that's where the cat box goes. Okay. So, we're putting the cat box down there. Alright, let me hang those three and then I'll show you that. We'll be done for the day. Okay, there's my above door. Cabinets are all done. Gotta put some knobs on them. And, well, I gotta put knobs on all of them. But, uh, there you go. That is definitely storage up there for for things that you don't always use. My door should be in. I gotta call Home Depot. I haven't got a call from them, but they were supposed to be in on the 27th. Was I think Saturday any time. I don't know. Anyway, but uh, I am done making cabinets for now. Cabinet doors. <laughs> I am so done. All right, let me clean this mess up. And, uh, chill out for a while. Okay, I got everything cleaned up. Got my, my wood stack meat, 
swept everything, vacuumed everything, blew everything out. Um, leaving those doors open, just let them dry overnight. They're, uh, they are dry, but just a little walk around the trailer. Still got to do the uh, drawers there and the drawers there. I was just going to put one drawer and then a cabinet, but I think I've decided that I think drawers will be better and more useful. I just got to figure out how to build drawers, that's all. That's my mirror right there for the uh, for the vanity. I've got to build a vanity uh, medicine cabinet. And that's an acrylic uh, plastic, basically, mirror. So I have to worry about it breaking. Um, as Patriot, what are you doing, buddy? So, like I said earlier, I've got those little bit of cabinets to do and those cabinet doors, but I'm pretty much done with uh, with cabinets right now. In the other video, I showed you the uh, the bathroom door. Bathroom door is all done. I did hang some hooks and. Uh, Bathroom's all ready to go. It's nice and clean. And that's for my cheap heat system when I hook it up. And it's going to be a big project, which I might do at the RV show. I may do that. Um, now, the other thing that I did was those cabinet doors up there, okay? Um, they're still a little tacky but I was able to go ahead and hang them and then they can just dry right in place. I've got some little pieces of wood just keeping the, keeping the doors open. And uh, this part we're leaving uh, natural and we're just staying the face of it. Um, the radio cabinet's done. Okay. Switches are done. I'll put the uh, covers back on when the uh, when the uh, stain is all dry. Uh, try to try to step back here a little bit. You can see that wall is completely done. The door is framed out, and uh, the. Uh, Trash can. It's all set. Let's go. Let's take it out. Put it back. And like I said, I still have to build a build a drawer. Build a drawer for there. Like I said, I just got to figure out how how to do it. Uh, these cat tower came out phenomenal came out phenomenal. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Uh, looks looks good. Like I said, you can access it from both sides. You know, towels and stuff like that. I mean, we've got plenty. And that down there is for the cat box. I know the... Uh, The cat box is sitting right here. Let me just stick it down there and you can kind of get an idea. Let's put this bag over right here. And there's where the cat box will go. Okay. And like I said, everything, got the floor all cleaned up is put away so okay well that's it me and uh, Patriot are gonna go relax we've been out here all day long and uh, let's kill this light I mean, I'll probably come back later and tinker around tinker around a little bit but right now we're just gonna 
call it a day. Um, the RV show is, we're, we're, I'm leaving on the 14th, so the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, whatever it is, staying at Fort uh, Air Force Base McDill. Um, so I'm glad the cabinets are done because there's some some other stuff. Oh, and I am going to stain that tomorrow. I totally zoned out and forgot. I did, I did stain enough when I had the door off so that I don't have to take the door off. I just have to remove this and this. Just pull them out, stain it, and put them back. No big deal. Um, I just forgot to do that. And I had a couple of blemishes. I went ahead and fill those in. I figured since I'll be here with that, I'd go ahead and do that. So, all right. Well, y'all have a great night and I will see you tomorrow. Actually, I think I started to tell you that uh, there's a couple of projects I want to do before I get to uh, to the RV show. Like, I want to uh, I want to tighten up that uh, those wires for the air conditioner and everything. I've got a uh, I've got a Bluetooth thermostat I want to put in. Um, I want to get the cover on the uh, air conditioner, so I want to go ahead and frame around that. I've got the material to do that. Um, I'd like to start on my ceiling in here in the living room, just kind of get that done. Experiment a little bit uh, with how I'm going to do it, what material I'm going to use. So there's just some other projects I want to do besides cabinet doors. I have been, I can't say enough about it. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 cabinet doors so far, plus the bathroom door, which is just one big giant uh, cabinet door. And, uh, whoo! If I never build another cabinet door, I'll be fine. But I do have seven or eight more to do. So, all right, that's it. I'm going now. Please like the video if you watch it. And uh, share and subscribe it uh, to the channel if you like it. And uh, have a good night. Okay, I get a lot of questions about what... What, what is the trailer? What's the manufacturer of the trailer? And it's manufactured by a company called Intech. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but it's, it's, in the, uh, it's embossed in the aluminum. Actually, I guess that's the uh, stainless steel corner. And uh, you just saw the inside of the coach. And the first, the first four foot of the trailer is what I'm calling my utility room. That's my battery box, that's that's my power plant. And of course, right behind, right behind this wall is the bedroom and those cabinets that we've been looking at all day, okay? We got 200 gallon of fresh water, uh, water filter system internal. I can fill my uh, tanks either with gravity fed or with the city water. Um, the pumps and everything are on that side, right there. I've got an actuator. Um, I built myself a little workbench in here. Um, really haven't done a whole lot more in the uh, utility room. I've been mostly working on the uh, working on the uh, inside of the coach. This is the tongue of the trailer. It's got uh, 80 pounds of propane. Um, I've got these nice uh, aluminum truck boxes that I keep stuff in. Um, I've got a uh, two awnings that cover the other complete side of this. Got a hatch door right there. It's a triaxle, 18,000 pounds. Um, we're sitting right at about 11.9 right now. Uh, 
gross vehicle weight and uh, tongue weight about 2,000 pounds and, uh, and that's about it um, you guys have seen the ramp door many times open but I've got okay so the wife called so it Stop the last video, but anyway, there it is. Okay. She's 30 foot long, eight and a half wide or eight wide, eight and a half high, something like that. Um, anyway, all right, we'll talk to you later.